hold on, before we go any further, that right there is our finance office. And this is where you'll make all your school payments. That's where you will buy stuff such as like your gym clothes or your yearbook. All right, let's continue. Hold up, actually one more thing. That right there is our attendance office. And this is where you'll get a slip if you're late to school to go to class or if you're leaving early, this is where you'll check out to then leave campus. Good morning, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. Welcome back, it's so good to see you. Great to be back. Do you have your Luma site ready? Yeah. Thank you so much, have a great day. Thank you, you too. You want to go right down there to the man in yellow? Jimmy will help you out to get your room site ready. All right, thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you too. Thank you. Any other regular school day, you know, you're going to pick up your textbooks, send to the AP's office, you get everything right here. Uh, straight through those doors, you have the AP office, and you pick up your textbooks there just in case you weren't able to uh, prior to, to school. Um, then, Right to our left, we have the Sequoia Hall. It's our 200 building. Uh, I'm pretty sure most of that is like music, uh, choir, most of your singing classes, electives. And uh, if you're an incoming freshman, you wouldn't notice this, but being here one year, all these lunch tables, they were not here before. Uh, we probably had like five down here. And we've got an addition of like 50 more new lunch tables. And they're just for us to eat. center that's where you'll go typically if you're not feeling too well you're feeling sick or if you just get hurt So down that hall is the counseling office. That's where you would go to meet with your counselor or set anything up. Then the other way is to the library. Welcoming is very warm. As soon as you walk in, first thing you have is like, you know, display of books, uh, popular books at the moment that we have in our library. Uh, have your detectors, and if you come in, the, the first thing you see is our, all our library. We have tables everywhere. To your left as you walk in, do you have any questions about the library, any books, textbooks or stuff, still need help with, wonderful librarians will help you out. And you know, it's, it's amazing in here. We have art hung up, hung up from like different classes. We'll have project rooms. Uh, typically you'll be sent here by a teacher if you need anything printed out. Be sent to the one of the librarians, they'll print it out for you. We have computers here, more computers over there. And we have extra computers down there. And, uh, you know, fun fact, if you, for some reason, don't got a pencil at school, library, we have like a pencil checkout where you can like put 25 cents inside our little box right here, and you get a free pencil. You got a pencil sharpener right next to it, you know? Something that comes in handy when you really don't think about it in the long All right, another thing before we move on is this. That is a washing station. We have about 20 of these set up around campus so that typically you can wash your hands anytime throughout the day after making contact with things such as getting up from the tables after eating lunch or just passing period as well. We're having a tough time with COVID, having to wipe everything down, so let's just make it a little bit easier. And then you just have an overview of our beautiful school. Here's what it looks like from this entry. You have like that dark tunnel in there and it just like it brings back like that vibe of like metal smithing which we saw like you know back then in that history not as much now but there's a play hall typically during the school year we'll have projects presented up on the window paint like this uh, projects made all classes have 
good. And then a fun fact is uh, something that you should remember. For all the buildings upstairs, it's gonna be the 50s and above. So this is the 200 building, 250 and up classes will be in here. Anything 250 and under will be downstairs. And you know, just like I said, we had projects put up on the window pane. Uh, there's not that many right now, but metal smithing actually has some. Uh, it's actually pretty cool, you know, walk once in a while, just check it out. It looks really nice. We put time and effort into their projects. I think they look pretty cool. But yeah, that's a, that's a square building. It's this nice hallway. The stairs. All right. The stairs this year are going to work a little bit different. To go up a building to get to your class, you'll typically use only the stairs that are on the front side of the building. And then to go down the building to go to another class, you use the ones in the back, which I will address later. And when you reach the top of the building, you'll go in a clockwise formation to the left. All right, cool. Now let me elaborate on what I meant by clockwise formation. So as you saw, once you went up the stairs, you're going to take a left and you're going to go clockwise around buildings. So even if you have a class that's just to the right when you go up the stairs, you still have to do the whole turn around the building to the left. You'll see that you're just going to walk straight down the hallway and you're just going to go all the way around through the back side. Even if you just have a class to the right, it's just enforced this year to keep everything safe and running so that we can keep going to school. Then, just like I stated earlier, when you're going to go down a building, you must use the stairs on the back side. So, with this new COVID and everything, Obviously we have to adapt to it, have a different like looking classroom. Like literally it looks different. You have these windshields up. And then as you walk into class, the first thing you would want to do is that every classroom should have a jug of hand sanitizer. You want to come in, get some on your hands, rub it in, and then go to your assigned seat. Just to make sure, you know, we trying to keep school open. We just got it open, so we might as well just follow our procedure as asked. Now we got exiting class. So when you exit class, if you have another class in that same row as you see, you'll just go straight underneath that like tunnel kind of like thing and you'll just go to your class. Yet, if you don't have a class there, you're going to walk straight out of class and exit into the open area and further proceed all the way down, whether you need to make your way up the stairs or just to another section of the school. All right, up next, we got our vending machine area. Our vending machine area consists of the Grizzly Den at the very far right, which typically they'd sell food during the school year. Because of COVID right now and stuff, we just have it closed off. Yet, we still got our vending machines. The first two we have right there, as you can see, is the orange one, and the blue one. The orange one is the Gatorade one, which is where you can purchase your Propel. And then the blue one just contains a uh, Powerade and water that you can buy throughout the school day if you forgot to bring some. Up next, we have our two big black boxed vending machines. These two contain of snacks, which you can buy throughout the day if you get a little bit hungry. They were just stocked up so there will be snacks the first day of school you guys come in. Then we have our ASB building, which is where ASB does all of their planning and gets stuff done for us. All right, 
we should continue walking up the ramp as you can see we have the grizzly grab and go and that's who will be serving lunch this year lunch this year is going to work very different there will only be one of those open and then the lunch lines will actually work differently which only will have one line for every other lunch window which will make more sense in person when you see it and we'll have signs coordinating where everybody should be Then we'll make our way to the 600 and 700 buildings. When walking through this area, the first thing that you're definitely going to notice is that huge tree that we have. I typically like to decorate it throughout the school year and just get an amazing vibe towards the school. But there you got your 600 buildings, 650 and above as I mentioned earlier. Typically your math classes with your language classes up on the left. Down that hall, you're going to go all the way down and take a right, just like earlier, clockwise. We'll have your health and criminal justice classes back there. All right, cool. Next up, we have our gym. First thing you see when you walk into the gym, though, is our amazing grizzly bear statue right there. That thing is majestic. Then, first thing you'd see to the left is actually we have trophy cases in there. Those trophy cases contain trophies of championships that our school has won for sports. And the ones on the right, pretty sure, are the ones that dance has won and banned. Then, you make your way down that hall. The first thing that you're going to have to see down that hall are those bathrooms, which is something that only certain buildings will have open this year. And then we have our weightlifting room, which typically, usually our football team uses, along with their basketball team. All right, you make way down that hall. First thing you're going to have in there is actually our wrestling gym section. Then, I don't know if you can notice, but around top of the building there's some banners hung up and all those banners are from CIF championships that our school have won from all different kinds of sports it's very cool maybe you can be part of a sport team this year and help put one up there up next we have the dance room as you can see our dance team has quite a lot of trophies up there and typically if you're on the dance team or take dance P. This is the area that you will be in to dance. Next up is the gym court. That's our gym court. We have that grizzly painting up on the right. We have our chant up there. And typically during a regular school year without COVID, this is where our basketball games, our volleyball games are hosted you could come and cheer us on sadly this year because of restrictions you can't but there will be online forms of watching the game then we have our jack ashby field this is where all our outdoor field sports are held which during regular school year you could come watch